Hello everybody, my name is Mariana and today I would like to tell you a little bit about Material UI. What is Material UI? Material UI is a set of React components that implement Google's material design. Okay, maybe some of you have heard of material design, but those of you who haven't, what is it? Material design is a design language developed in 2014 by Google. And the goals that they were pers pursuing in this project are um, they were trying to develop a system of design that allows for a unified user experience across all their products on any platform. And they were striving to create a visual language that would implement classic principles of good design and also include innovations and possibly possibilities of technology and science. And the important part and the result of this is unified experience across platforms and device sizes. So as of 2015, um, their mobile apps for Android and Google Play apps and Google Drive and Docs and Sheets and Slides and Inbox, like all of their products, um, are implementing this design philosophy, material design. And um, it is really nice of them to make this available for other people to use as well because they put a lot of work into it. So right now, there are a number of CSS libraries that implement material design. Um, I'll just name a few and you can look into them later. One is Materialize. There is Material Bootstrap. There is MUI CSS Framework. There's Material Design Lite. Polymer, Angle Material, and many more. So this, I, this uh, language, material design language that they developed is becoming very popular and there are a number of implementations. But today I would like to focus on one specific library, Material UI, uh, because it plays really nicely with React, one of the tools that we've been using. And it makes it very easy to create a nicely looking applications without having to spend too much time tweaking your CSS files. So um, Material UI is available as an NPM package and very easy to install. Um, it provides a MUI theme. Um, all of Material UI components require that object to be provided, which stores all the information about the theme for your app. Material UI is using single, it's a basically a JavaScript object uh, that includes a number of keys that describe different design properties of your app, such as spacing, font family, palette, Z index, which allows you to create um, an illusion of three-dimensionality. And uh, this object also has references uh, to all the components in the library uh, that will allow you to individually customize components if you choose to do so. So the quickest way to get started after you install uh, this package is to use MUI theme provider. It will inject the theme into your application context. Uh, and this idea is probably familiar to you from working with React Redux, um, uh, specifically Redux. When we use Redux store um, and we used a provider that injected the store into the context of your application, which made Redux store available to all of your uh, React components and all the pages and modules in your app, right? So this setup will look very similar to what we've seen with working with Redux. So we, this is main app file, and we have our MUI theme provider, which will wrap around all of your other uh, 
components. So everything will go inside in between, um, inside of movie theme provider component. So um, by default, you get two predefined themes when you install Material UI. Um, if you don't customize anything, you will be using light base theme. So this is what it will look like. It comes with these two main colors, and here on the screenshot you have, uh, you see a uh, bunch of examples of what your different elements will look like. So let's take a look. I created a little sample application to show you um, how to set it up. So um, this is my little um, sample application where I'm currently using this predefined light-based theme. And I included several components on the page just to uh, give you an idea. So at the top, we have app bar. Uh, then the circle element is called paper. Um, it can be any shape you want. Um, then I have a button that opens a dialog box. Inside of dialog box, this is a flat button uh, that doesn't have depth. Um, but this button um, does have depth. Uh, this is my custom component. And I'll show you uh, in a minute how to apply theme colors to your custom component. And this is um, as another element. Um, I'm forgetting the exact name, but I'll tell you at the end of my presentation what it's called. Um, so right now, it's spinning um, not because something is loading, just because I wanted to demonstrate this. You can include it in your app um, in the places where it makes sense. But this is just for illustration purposes. And this is a text field. I'll talk about it more in a second. OK, another theme that you can get without doing much work is dark theme. And it will look like this. Um, and it's very easy to add this theme. Basically, you just need to uh, import another um, method called get MUI theme and provide the dark base theme to it. Uh, you can also obviously customize other colors. And if you look on their website, you will see um, this is just a small section of the color palette that you can use. And each color comes with a name that you can import in your app. And you don't have to spend too much time thinking about it. So it's very user friendly. So for ex let's say I wanted to. Um, use these colors, orange 500 and deep orange 500 in my theme. So the way to customize it is to pass this object into get MUI theme method. So I'll sh show you what this looks like. So here in my app, um, let me come in this. Uncomment this. So now I'm passing these co these colors, and then I need to pass this additional property to my theme provider. So let's see what the result will look like. Sorry, I forgot the closing curly brace. All right, so very simple. With just adding a couple of lines of code, you get the colors that you want for your theme. OK, to, um, you can also use the pre-designed theme for your custom components. Um, of course, you can use the ones from the library, but then 
to do something additional, uh, you might want to create your own component. So to, prov to pass the MUI theme to your custom component, um, like here I have a component called deep down the tree. Uh, it might be nested somewhere inside of other components. So it doesn't automatically has access to MUI theme. To give your component the access to MUI theme, you need to use MUI themable, which is a higher order component. Uh, this pattern we've seen when we worked with React Redux and we use connect function and map state to props. Uh, so basically, this is a similar pattern. Um, you wrap your component deep down the tree by passing it to uh, the result of this function. And what that does now on your props, here you have your MUI theme. And you can use any properties of that. And um, the last element I wanted to demonstrate is autocomplete uh, that comes dir directly from, from the library. Um, and that's the text field that I have down here. And the really cool thing about it is that it comes with filterable property. Do you remember in Juke how we had to create a filter for um, playlists? So here, just by importing this component, um, I gave it a r an array of fruits. And if I start typing, it will automatically filter uh, those fruits for me. And if I type something else, um, I get the result right away without having to write any code. So that's pretty awesome. So that's basically it. And if you want to learn more, go to materialui.com. And you, if you would like to take a closer look at this example, it's available on my GitHub. Thank you. <laughs>